Good morning, good afternoon, good night, guys. What is up? It's JoJo, and thank you so much for 500,000 subscribers. We are definitely going to get a million subscribers. That is my goal, that is my dream. Now, anyway, today we're talking about interesting things that I found in the news regarding theme parks. Our first story of the day has to do with Hagrid. If you didn't know, the actor who played Hagrid passed away. Robbie Coltrane uh, passed away last week at 72, but Universal did a special tribute to him by putting roses by his animatronic Hagrid at his ride, which is super, super sweet. They've done this before in Universal. When Stan Lee passed away, they put roses in his office at the Spider-Man ride. And as for someone who's a fan of both of these characters, it really means a lot that they take the time to acknowledge this. You know, they didn't have to do this. It kind of, if anything, ruins the immersion. But it's very small. It's a nice touch, as you see. This is like in the intro of the ride. And there's the roses. Very sweet, very sweet. I love that. Very wholesome, great way. I mean, you know, it's never fun when someone passes away, but at least that they pay tribute to him and we'll never forget him. He'll always be a big part of all of our stories. And it's pretty awesome because everyone's gonna see him every single day at Universal. Speaking about Universal, Walt Disney World loses attendance to Universal Orlando according to the 2021 TACOM theme index. Now, the reason why I talk about this is not that I believe in the TACOM theme index or anything like that. I just think this is very interesting because with all these new announcements of Universal, and I'm talking about the new major theme park, D23 just happened to Disney, and they honestly didn't announce a lot. You could actually see at the end of the park's panel, they started like going like, what if this could happen? Index attendance report, Magic Kingdom, 12.7 million, Islands of Adventure, 9 million, Universal Studios Florida, 8.9 million, Disney Hollywood Studios, 8.6, that's interesting, which makes sense. Magic Kingdom is the place to be. It is the poppin' magic of Disney and Orlando, Florida. You think of Florida, you think of Disney World, you think of Magic Kingdom. However, right behind it, Islands of Adventure at 9 million, which I totally get because Islands of Adventure has so many dope rides. They have Hagrid's, which we just talked about, and Velocicoaster. Those two rides alone are an actual thrill. I'm curious to see where this goes. This is a continuing story. By the way, I'm going to be doing this every now and then just because I want to. Just interesting things that I found today. Now, this was announced today. We got a bunch of new food updates from Disney Parks blogs. Tusker House Restaurant will be transitioning to an all-you-care-to-enjoy buffet-style dining experience. I've actually never been to Tusker House. I could totally make a vlog on November 1st. If you guys want me to go, just let me know. This is going to be in Animal Kingdom. For lunch and dinner, you can indulge in various breads and dips, house specialties like the roasted tandoori chicken and green curry shrimp that sounds pretty good not gonna hold you over at disney's polynesian village resort the kona cafe will be returning november 1st i did cover that the other day i was like what's going on here you can again dine at this favorite restaurant dude i love their food their kona is so good they have their tonga toast and pineapple macadamia nut pancakes for breakfast delicious you can see that right there lastly i cordially invite you to a feast at Akershurst Royal Banquet Hall. I actually think I said that correctly. This is over at Epcot. Basically, this is a character dining experience right in front of the Frozen ride where you can meet a bunch of princesses. I never got the opportunity to go there before uh, COVID shut down everything. Uh, there are plenty of plates at this royal feast whenever you're looking to indulge in your favorites or wanting to try something new. The cool thing about this place is that there's no like real like set characters. It's not like a dining experience like on the Disney Wish where you're meeting Frozen and them. So you can, you never know which princesses you're gonna meet. I'm definitely gonna go to that. We have a lot of things to vlog starting November 1st. I gotta make my reservation. Now, if you guys don't know, Mardi Gras is just basically a food and wine, but over at Universal, and it's a lot of fun. They have some really, really good food. They have a crazy float which throws beads at you, and I've vlogged it recently. Well, see, that's the thing. They're announcing when it's coming back, which is February. I feel like it just ended. Like, I feel like in my brain, I just said goodbye. But then again, it's been a couple of months now. And then my favorite was Pitbull back in 2019. So they do get some pretty uh, S-tier singers, which is a lot of fun. February 4th. 2023 through April 16, 2023. Leaders from the Walt Disney World Company are arriving at Walt Disney World this week as a part of a global retreat, including our boy, Bob Chapek. With details of the visit remaining private, which makes sense, future plans for Walt Disney World Resort will likely be on the agenda. The additions to Disney's Animal Kingdom Magic Kingdom teased that are likely at the top of their list. 
again going back to what i mentioned earlier these are the artwork the pieces for what's gonna potentially come to disney at some point honestly disney's gonna have to show not tell for me at this point because you know they showed tron since 2019 basically and it's basically taking as long not a, maybe even longer than it did to make magic kingdom so i hope this retreat goes swimming there is another picture of the potential Frontierland expansion. Regardless, if you're in the parks this week, keep your eyes out. You might see Bob Chapek, Josh, or any other Disney executive you might follow. Florida man spits on a 13-year-old girl while waiting in line for stars or as a resistance. I don't agree with this, obviously. I don't think anyone would. I don't like... Oh, you know what's funny, though? Florida man. I don't know if you ever typed in Florida man on Google. You get really wacky articles. Florida man fought a gator. Florida man, you know, it's a it's a meme almost. But the fact that this seems to be real. Situation unfolded July 31st, according to Orange. Oh, so it actually happened. They released the report. Got you. Now, of course, I don't like to talk negative about Disney or any of the places I spend a lot of my time. But this is not really Disney's fault. This is just a rude guest hanging in line. Now, I will say those cues get very, very tiny. I wouldn't be surprised if someone by accident spit on someone. Granted, it seems like a whole police report was done with this. Not cool, bro. Uh, I hope you get banned from the park. You know, that's a ban. Like, what? No, no. I, it doesn't matter if you're tired, hungry, cold. I've been in those conditions and you have no regard ever to spit on a 13 year old. Oh, OK. So Alana and Julio were the people involved and then uh, Sebastian was the person who spit said water. Uh, Alana and Julio did not want to press criminal charges for battery, but they wanted to speak with a sheriff's deputy to document the incident. Attempt to meet back up with the rest of the group. They got into a verbal agreement. Sebastian from Gainesville was upset the two were attempting to cut ahead of the line when they had waited a long time. Sebastian then allowed Alana and Julio to pass, but proceeded to spit a mouthful of water onto the side of Alana's face. You know, we've all been there. We've all had family needs to go to the bathroom and they come back in line. Like, it happens. Get used to it. I don't think anyone has ever purposely, like, cut the line, say, oh, my family's at the front, and then they just never go to their family. Anyway, that was sad, but everyone's okay. Next cool story rare endangered or copycat born at disney's animal kingdom lodge this literally happened like 40 minutes ago everyone there is a new okapi look at this thing it's so cute it's so cute what did they name it is that it oh just in time for world of copy day which is october 18th i did not know that disney animal kingdom lodge announced the birth of a rare endangered copy named benny ah, it's like bambi but benny Benny's so cute! This healthy male cat was born in July to first-time mom Olivia at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge at Walt Disney World Resort. The pair remain in their backstage habitat when they can bond privately. Benny will make his debut at the Pemby Savannah in the coming months. Cool. We like absolutely love that. Shout out Disney for saving animals. And you know what else we love? Harrison Ford. Dun, 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 dun. If you didn't know, Harrison Ford is an actor who has done a lot for Disney. He is, of course, the famous Indiana Jones or the more famous Han Solo. Fun fact, he wanted Han Solo to die in the last episode, the original uh, tre trequel, prequel, uh, the three movies, the last one. He wanted to die, but they, su they said it would be too dark, so they didn't let him die. So he finally got his wish when he came back because he died in the first, you know, movie of the new three movies that just came out. Anyway, he's back. Not in Indiana Jones, not in Star Wars, but Marvel. Harrison Ford to replace the late William Hurt as Thaddeus Thunderbolt Ross in Marvel's Captain America New World Order. You guys, I'm looking at this. You're like, wait, what's going on? These are all, not all of them, but the characters in the front, most of them were announced to be part of the Thunderbolts, which is like a team of like misfits. But that big red Hulk, that's him. And in one comic arc, he actually gets some of the serum and he becomes red hulk so there is a potential there is a universe where we will see harrison ford turning into a red hulk i'm not saying it's gonna happen but that'd be pretty cool don't you think okay everybody with all that being said that is what i found interesting today i hit 500,000 subscribers and as i could continue to grow in this youtube dream of mine i'm gonna keep trying new and different things so if you guys find one of these video styles or what i'm doing fun 
please let me know and I will love to do more. Again, 500,000 subscribers, thank you so much. I'm working hard with Dan to make some new merchandise, which will be coming out later this month, maybe early next month. It's gonna be awesome, you guys are gonna love it. Remember, every day is a blessed day to be alive and I'll see you in the next one.